The next part of this chapter is to explain about four examples of concrete mix design. Let's us take a look at example number one, unrestricted concrete mix design. A developer intends to build a shop lot in the middle of Perta town. As a site supervisor, you are required to determine the concrete mix proportion using suitable grade. The trial mix is consisting of nine concrete cubes of 100 mm cube dimension. 15% of wastage should be incorporated in your calculations. Complete the concrete mix design form using specifications as shown in table Q1 and appendices provided. Given parameters in table Q1. Characteristic compressive strength at 28 days is 25 MPa. Proportion defective is taken as 5%, hence, constant K is taken as 1.64. The maximum aggregate size is 40 mm. Coarse aggregate is crushed, and fine aggregate is uncrushed. Slump height is taken as 75 mm. Relative density factor is 2.65. Percentage of fine aggregate passing 600 micron sieve is 45%. Type of cement used is ordinary Portland cement. Please do this exercise together with the mix design appendix and form. First, we need to calculate the trial mix volume. Volume for 9 concrete cubes is 0.009 meter cube. Total volume of concrete cube with 15% wastage is 0.01035 meter cube. By referring to the parameters given in table Q1, fill all specified space such as the characteristic strength at 28 days, the proportion defectives, the constant K and refer to figure 1.0 in the appendix to get the standard deviation. Refer to figure 1.0 to determine the standard deviation. This example consists of less than 20 results, samples, thus, refer line A. If more than 20 or more results, refer line B. So the standard deviation should be referred to line A and the value is 8 Newton per millimeter square as shown by the red dotted line. Then, the margin of concrete mix can be calculated by multiplying the standard deviation with constant K. Next, calculate target mean strength. The given cement type is OPC, crushed type for coarse aggregate, and uncrushed type for fine aggregate. Next step is to determine the water to cement ratio. Step 1, table 1.0 is used to determine the approximate compressive strength. For this example, we use OPC type of cement and crushed type of coarse aggregate, so the approximate compressive strength is 49 MPa at 28 days of age. Step 2, use value from table 1.0 which is 49 Newton per millimeter square and mark at y-axis at figure 2.0, c.x. Figure 2.0 shows the relationship between compressive strength and free water to cement ratio. Step 3, from point X, draw a horizontal line, green line, towards 0.5 free water to cement ratio line, then draw a line imitating the original curve line, refer red dotted curve line. Step 4, mark the value of target mean strength which is 38 Newton per millimeter square at Y axis, C.0, and draw a horizontal line, refer blue line, up to intersect the red dotted curve line. Step 5, from the intersection, draw a vertical line, refer orange line, down to x-axis. It shows 0.58 water cement ratio. The free water to cement ratio obtained is 0.58, and if there is no maximum free water to cement ratio restriction, so we use 0.58 as the free water to cement ratio. Next. Use table 2.0 to determine the approximate free water contents. For this example, the maximum size of coarse aggregate use is 40 mm and coarse aggregate is crushed type, whilst fine aggregate is uncrushed type. The slump test specified is 75 mm, within the range 60 to 180 mm, so the approximate free water content is calculated using equation 2. Thus, the free water content is 184 kg per meter cube. Next, is to obtain the cement content. 
cement content is equal to free water content divided by free water to cement ratio. For this example, by using equation 3, free water content is 184 kg per meter cube divided by free water to cement ratio which is taken as 0.58. There are no other restraints involved such as the maximum or minimum cement content, and also no modified free water to cement ratio. Thus, the cement content is 317 kg per meter cube. By using figure 3.0, given SSD is 2.65, project the value of free water content from X axis which is 184 kg per meter cube intersecting line 2.65 and draw horizontal line towards y-axis. Measure the value at y-axis, the value of wet density of concrete mix is approximately 2410 kg per meter cube. By using equation 4, the total aggregate content is 1909 kg per meter cube. Using figure 4.0, 440 mm maximum aggregate size, pick the slump range 60 to 180 mm and draw a line parallel to 45% of percentage passing value. Then, draw a vertical line from value 0.58 at X axis and project the intersection line to Y axis to get the percentage proportion of fine aggregate. In this example, we get 38 percentage proportion of fine aggregate. Finally, Use equation 5 to calculate the proportion of fine aggregate which is 725 kg per meter cube. The coarse aggregate content can be obtained using equation 6 which is 1184 kg per meter cube. Hence, the quantity per meter cube for water, cement, fine aggregate and coarse aggregate are obtained. For this example, the maximum size of aggregate is 40 mm, therefore, the ratio proportion for 10 mm, 20 mm, and 40 mm aggregate is 1 to 1.5 to 3, respectively. Finally, the quantities of material per meter cube are multiplied with the trial mix volume and the quantities of material for trial mix were obtained as shown in the figure. Now, let's us take a look at example number 2, concrete mix design for a mix restricted by maximum water to cement ratio. This example is using the same problem and all parameters as example 1. The difference is, in this example, the maximum free to water cement ratio is given as 0.5. It means, the design mix has restricted maximum free water to cement ratio. In this case, we need to choose the lowest value between free water to cement ratio from figure 2.0 and the maximum free water to cement ratio as given. Therefore, the value of 0.5 for free water to cement ratio is taken to proceed the next step of concrete design mix. When using the restricted free water to cement ratio, the effect can be seen at the increasing of cement content and decreasing of total aggregate content. Hence, the content for both fine and coarse aggregates are also changed. The quantities of all material per meter cube and per trial mix volume also need to recalculate. Next, we go to example number 3. Concrete mix design for a mix restricted by minimum cement content. By using the same problem and all parameters as example 1, this example involved the restriction of cement content. Where? The minimum cement content is restricted as 300 kg per meter cube. Remember the rules, rule number 1, use calculated cement content, if the value is less than maximum cement content. And rule number 2, use minimum cement content, if the value is more than or equal with the calculated cement content. For this example, rule number 1 is dominant. Hence, the minimum cement content as restricted in this example does not affect the quantities of material used for concrete mix. Lastly, example number 4 will show you the concrete mix design for a mix restricted by maximum cement content. By using the same problem and all parameters as example 1, 
This example involved the restriction of cement content. Hence, there is no changes of free water to cement ratio. Where, the maximum cement content is restricted as 250 kg per meter cube. As previous example, you need to familiar with these rules. Rule number one, use calculated cement content, if the value is less than maximum cement content. And rule number two, use minimum cement content, if the value is more than or equal with the calculated cement content. For this example, both rules are not complied. Therefore, the design need to use cement content of 250 kg per meter cube. The decreasing of cement content would increase total aggregate content. Hence, the content for both fine and coarse aggregates are also changed. The quantities of all material per meter cube and per trial mix volume also need to recalculate. That's all for normal concrete mix design. In summary, what are the factors affecting concrete mix design strength? First, water to cement ratio strength of concrete depends upon water to cement ratio rather than the cement content higher the water to cement ratio lower is the strength of concrete water added for workability but leaving cavities in the concrete these cavities are in the form of thin capillaries they reduce the strength and durability of concrete hence it is very important to control the water to cement ratio on site Secondly, the cement content. Cement acts as a binding agent and imparts strength to the concrete. Higher cement content helps us in getting the desired workability at a lower water to cement ratio. Higher cement content would not result in higher strength. However, this does not mean that we can achieve higher grades of concrete by just lowering the water to cement ratio. This is because lower water to cement ratios will mean lower water contents and result in lower workability. Third, relative proportion of fine and coarse aggregates. Fineness of sand would influence the proportion of fine aggregate. Generally, when the sand is fine, smaller proportion of it is enough to get a cohesive mix, while coarser the sand, greater has to be its proportion with respect to coarse aggregate. Finally, the admixtures. The admixtures are used in the concrete mix design when they have to solve certain concerns. Some of these concerns are to decrease the cost of construction, to achieve certain properties effectively and to maintain the concrete quality throughout the process of mixing, transporting, placing and compacting. It is important for us to understand the function of chemical admixtures and its effect to the normal design mix. However, the design mix with admixture will not be covered in this course. Thank you for your attention. You need to do a lot of exercises to enhance your understanding on the subject matter. Kindly contact your lecturer if you need further assistance about this chapter. Stay safe and have a good day.